I'm going to show you how to make advanced views in Android Studio. What's going on? My name is Abbas. Welcome to Master Android channel. We will continue the complete Android developer course. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make Android apps and Flutter apps, start now by subscribing, clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Welcome to the section four, advanced views. This section will take you from the basics to the intermediate level in coding. So it's very important to understand these lessons to build your own complex and professional apps. You will be a real master after completing these lessons with practicing on your own computer. Don't miss to subscribe to our channel and rate our app five stars on Play Store. The, our app is called Master Android. These lessons are available to download in Master Android and Master Android Pro apps. So as an overview, we will see by, at the end of this chapter and next videos, we are going to learn about model class and adapter class, which is this uh, video and grid view, list of views, a custom list of view, recycler view, card view, fragments, view page or tablet out, a floating action bar or fab, uh, or a uh, button and a navigation drawer. There's a lot to get through. So let's get started. But first, rate us five stars and subscribe to our channel to get the latest tutorials with free uh, source codes. Model class. What is the model class? This tutorial will shed the lights on a very important concept, which is a model class. You will see this class in creating custom and complex views. So your model you, you would usually be a set of classes that hold your data and business logic. In this example case, probably an item class having a name, name of painter and thumbnail properties. In a model class, a class there are mainly three methods. Constructor is a bridge between model and adapter class. We'll see in a real example in uh, next videos and next couple of minutes. Gather methods. This is ma this ma this or this method is used for getting the values of any property. Setter method and this method is used for setting the value of any property. So when your user asks for any information to view. Or during the view, this view go to the controller and the controller notify the model. Then the model give that information to the controller and controller notify the view about the information. So the user can see the information. But how, how we can translate these, these uh, concepts into a, a real app or a real coding? Think of model class as a template or an instance. So we can store data on it and receive them later on to be displayed to the user. For that, we need to specify the, that what variables or what data we need to use. This tutorial will show you how to create a model class. Later on, you need to create this class or this model class in many examples like car review, grid view, recycler view, and more. So let's move to that. Code to create a model class in Android Studio, you need, you need the Java code. Click on the package and create a new Java class. This is how to create a Java class. We click on the package and we click on Java class. Name it as a model and click OK. Create your variables that you need to receive and set. So this is our uh, variable. We, we have a variable called name and a variable called last name. Variables that we need to store and receive in the model class. Now, fourth step, creating the constructor. Press Alt plus insert and select the constructor. We, we, we go to select the constructor. Select all variables and click OK. We select all variables to create them in the constructor. And let's create a getter and setters. And some way of creating constructor, just to click Alt plus insert 
a new window will appear and select getters and setters. We need to select all variables from the new menu that appears to us. So, and final model class should be, look like this. So uh, we select them all and the model class or final model class, we will see like this. These are the variables we need to store and receive. These are the construct. This is the constructor that have our string name and list name and getters and setters methods of our variables. These are for getting the name, setting the name, getting the last name and setting the last name. So before moving to adapter class, let's go to Android Studio and create a real, uh, a real uh, model class. So back to Android Studio, I'm going to Android Studio here. Uh, by the way, we, uh, these lessons are available to download on Master Android app. So uh, I'm going, uh, going in the section four called advanced views. We can select the ad, uh, advanced views and we are here in the model class. And these are the codes and the tutorials I am lecturing on. So in order to create uh, a model class, as we said, we go to, uh, we go to uh, our uh, package. We select new and Java class. We called it as model and we click OK. Here we go. This is our package or uh, this is our package and this is our public class model. Now, what variables we are going to receive and set? First of all, I will create a string called name and going to create another string or uh, another int called age. So these are the variables. I'm going first to click on Alt plus insert and create a constructor. We choose a constructor, we choose them and we click OK. Here's Android Studio creates a constructor class for our model class. So if you want to learn about constructors, please go to and download the app and you have a, a lot of uh, lectures about constructors. Now, we need to uh, uh, get uh, and set uh, methods. So we click on Alt plus insert again and we go to getters and setters and we choose them. All of these. Click, we click OK and here we go. We have created getters and setters methods. Amazing. So let's go back to the adapter class. So now we need to create an adapter class for getting data for the model or from the model and show it uh, on view for the user. First of all, we created a model class. Now we are going to create an adapter class. This adapter class will get them the data from the model class and show it the user. This tutorial will show you how the adapter class work and the steps of creating it. Please note that we will use adapter class in many advanced views like card view, recycler view, view pager and complex and more complex UI. We create adapter class for getting data from the model and showing it to the view or from the user. An adapter acts as an overpass between adapter view and the underlying data for that view. The adapter provides access to the data items and, and is answerable for getting or creating a view for each item in the data set. Adapters can, uh, are, good, are a good way to connect and view with some kind of data source. So, an overview what we are making. We are going to make a list of view, which is an adapter view. An adapter will get the data from database, from layout, 
from uh, from layout, from database, from modal class, adapter class adapter will uh, will connect the data and display them in adapter view and list view, recycler view, uh, card view, and whatever we need to make. An adapter is an object of class that implements the adapter interface. It's a, it acts as a link between a data set and ad, an adapter view, an object of class that extends the abstract adapter view class. What are these? We are going to see it in a couple of minutes. <clears throat> the data set can be anything that presents a data in structured manner. Arrays, list of views, and a cursor objects are commonly used data sets. An adapter is responsible for retrieving data from the data set for generating views and objects based on that data. The, gen the generated view objects are then used to populate any po uh, adapter view that is bound to the adapter. You can create your own adapter class from scratch, but most of the developers choose to use or extend adapter classes provided by Android SDK, such as the array adapter or simple cursor adapter. In this tutorial, we focus on the array adapter. So here is an a schema that summarize how adapters works. The data set here it will be a cursor, array list, whatever we want to get or to set the data here in data source. We pass them into adapter and then from adapter we pass them into adapter view. Adapter view would be a list view, grid view, spinner and whatever you, uh, you need or uh, you are making. Recycler view we'll see in the uh, next couple of uh, tutorials what are recycler view and how to create them. But as in general, recycler view, we get the layout manager, item uh, animator, decoration. Here are for decora decoration UI, view holder and content view. We get them from adapter and data model. Data model is passed to the adapter, adapter to we pass them to view holder and content view and then to circular view and vice versa. Don't uh, be confused. Everything will be clarified. How to create a, an adapter in Android Studio? You need to follow these steps. Declare variables that are mainly two variables, context and, and array list. Context is used to, for access the application specific resources and classes, as well as calls for the application level uh, operations, such as launching app activities, broadcasting and receiving intents, and etc. Array lists provide resizable, <clears throat> resizable array, which means that items can be added or removed and removed from the list it implements the list interface. Now we create override methods. My, my view holder, we see these methods are very important and we'll see them in all uh, next uh, advanced views. So if you have any question or anything, please list it below in the comment and uh, we will answer it or you have any project or uh, any error or uh, any problem in your project we can help you please comment below and we will help you our main goal is to help people learn android free learn code free and make knowledge available for everyone now these me these methods are very important so I advise you to uh, to cons concentrate and uh, and uh, rewind the, this video more, more than one time to anchor this knowledge or this message in your brain. My view holder 
this is the methods we define view and get text view or image view from XML by their IDs. Create a parameter parameterized constructor. Constructor is the mediator between adapter and activity. On create view holder method, this method create view for user. On bind view holder, this method will bind the data with list of items. And get item count, this method indicate how many items or rows are in the data set that will be presented in the adapter view. So we will create real apps. So every concept will be clarified. Say thanks in the description below. Before moving to the grid views and, and recycler views, we will make we will make a revision for what we have learned in this video. So first of all, <coughs> we have created a model class that is very important to uh, our data that we uh, it's very important for our data and uh, and uh, we have created a model class that con contains a constructor getter methods and setters methods and here we go we have this code like this getters and setters constructor and these are variables and we have moved to adapter class which will be used in our uh, uh, advanced views so the data source array or cursor or that phase past the array is uh, the past to the adapter and then the adapter view which would which would be a list view grid view or spinner or whatever we want we will create an override methods that we uh, are very important in our adapter and we'll see these methods in real examples next couples of uh, videos stay tuned make sure you subscribe to get the next lessons freely first method my view holder second second method is constructor third method is on create view holder on bind view holder is the fourth method and the get view uh, item count is the fifth method method don't miss to subscribe like and hit below uh, your comments about uh, our uh, course and how you think uh, adapter class and model class are very important uh, to learn in Android and uh, and in your career. If you have any tutorial or anything you not clarified, please comment below. We will make uh, tutorials about them. Ask for tutorials. Don't be shy. Thank you, guys. See you in next videos. Next videos next videos.